Ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem. Smartphones are killing Rhode Islanders. We have seen a historic increase in traffic fatalities over the past two years here in Rhode Island and nationwide. Many of these deaths are attributed to alcohol and speeding, which remain the leading cause of death in all traffic fatalities. But an alarming number of traffic deaths are blamed on these. Is death by distraction. We can't say for sure how many crashes and deaths are attributed to cell phones. If the driver doesn't admit to cell phone use at the time of the crash, we need a court order for their phone records to prove they were talking or texting. Even then, it can be tricky to prove that action caused the crash. But we don't need statistics to prove what we see every day, and I'm sure that you do too. A frightening number of people talking, texting, and checking their phones. A recent study of 3 million drivers found that they used their cell phones at least once during 90% of the time that they drive. I don't care how good a driver you are, all it takes is one second of distraction to answer the phone or glance at a text to lose control and crash. Here's another interesting fact. In the past two years, we've seen a huge increase of smartphones. More than 80% of all Americans have smartphones. In that time period, the largest increase in fatalities in the past has been among bicyclists, motorcycle operators, and pedestrians. Any one of those is a lot easier to miss than a car or truck on the road, especially if you're glancing up from your phone instead of paying attention to what's going on around you. That's why this hands-free law is so important. Combined with laws banning texting while driving and teen use of cell phones, it's one more tool to fight death by distraction. This is an older car. It's a 2007 Hyundai Santa Fe. This car didn't have Bluetooth in it when it was made. And if people have older cars like this, and this happens to be my own car, um, and you're concerned about, well, what's going to happen uh, with the new law, there's economical alternatives. So there's something as simple as a wired uh, headset. So you plug this into your phone and use it in one ear only. And it has a little microphone on it so you can hear. Uh, also, you can get a little bit fancier with a Bluetooth style uh, headset. So you just wear this around your neck, put one in in your ear, and you can talk and listen, and it works great. Or a simple alternative, which I use in my own car, I just mount my phone on a bracket, and I can answer my phone if I have to. Just one touch, you know, answer the phone, and the phone's not in my hand anymore. And also, it's if I'm using my phone for, say, GPS purposes, I can use it that way. I can turn it. I can use it. And, and it's just a safe way to drive. Preferably, the best thing is don't use your phone at all. Put it in the golf compartment. Uh, but if you are going to use your phone, if you are tempted to use your phone, uh, using hands-free devices is certainly the safest way to go. Line three. I am calling the number. So there we have it. Easy enough. And then to disconnect, just the touch of a button here. So with Bluetooth, which is very, very handy, you never have to have your hands off the wheel or eyes off the road while you're initiating or accepting a phone call. Obviously, not talking on the phone is always the safest, but if you need to do that, you can do that.